Have I seen rosacean clients successfully move to tretinoin? Hang on, I've got an answer. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am Natasha B, your beauty junkie monkey. I'm an esthetician, skincare consultant expert in my field, and I'm an educator. Let me explain to you about rosacea skin, retinols, and kind of what you can and can't do. Now, typically, if you have rosacea, you get the pinkening of the skin, you get flares up very quickly. Uh, usually, it's due to any type of caffeine or alcohol consumption. Heat can also do it for you. And most people, they just kind of content with that type of rosacea but then there's another form of rosacea where they get these really bad breakouts but they've uh, actually identified that there might be some sort of like bacterial bug in there so just keep that in mind that you'll need to get that treated uh, I'm very familiar with it my mother had it for many many years and then she went from really horrible skin to all of a sudden it cleared up and now she's quite comfortably doing just well on her own but it doesn't mean I'd put her on tretinoin she's happily on copper peptides and getting really beautiful results. The thing with rosacea skin is it's a bit of a wild card. Do I have clients who have used retinols? Yes. And have they been successful? Yes. Rosacea is not in a flare zone and you're doing really well. I would suggest that you would start at some form of phytoretinol, meaning a natural one like bacuchiol. Try that first and see how your skin responds. If your skin responds well, then you can slowly move up to an encapsulated retinol because that one's going to be nice and slow releasing. It's not going to be horribly stimulating on your skin right out of the gate. It's like I said, slow release. And you again, you're going to slowly bring that into your routine about three to four times a week. If your skin's tolerant and it's doing well, then you can start uh, using it every single day of the week with the exception of the exfoliant. You would never use an exfoliant that your retinol the same night. That would be a hell no. And then if your skin's tolerating there, then you can go up to a retinol, a retinaldehyde, which is your next step up, and slowly see how your skin continues to climatize to it. Rosacea isn't a one size fits all, so remember you have options, and if you're like, I don't even wanna go that direction, no worries. Get yourself some really good copper peptides. Biosense has a glorious one that I absolutely adore. Great results, and it still stimulates collagen and elastin. So I hope this information helped. Like and follow if you want more skincare education.